this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. So Cardi B wants smoke with Nicki Minaj. Um, she just tweeted, people saw me as competition at my lowest. That's when I knew. And she is talking about Nicki Minaj, okay? Because everybody knows, you know, Cardi B and Nicki have had this on and off beef for years since Cardi B um, put out her first album. And the reason why she tweeted that is because Onika wins again was trending all night and um, Nikki was throwing shots. Now this all started because Rory and Maul, you know, did a podcast episode comparing Cardi B to Ice Spice, debating whether or not they were industry plants. Cardi B went on a full rant, so you know, she put in a lot of work. After Nicki Minaj went on live to discuss her new album, Cardi B clearly was listening and she decided to hop on live and also discuss her new single and album. I listen to my single. I know, I know, I know I've been friending, but I just, my mind been going fucking crazy, bitch, because you know, you know I be everywhere. But you got to come listen. Oh, shit. So about this album. This album is coming, okay? But I, I talk to y'all later. So I feel like Nicki kind of was baiting um, Titanic Records and Cardi B when she went on live to discuss her album on Queen Radio because she knows they are watching, okay? She knows they're waiting for any type of details to sabotage. But not only that, Cardi B also went live to discuss how she had to work for her spot in the fashion industry and she wasn't able to get front row tickets or front row seats like Ice Spice, okay? Invested all my little money on this fashion shit. Cause I love, I love clothes. It was hard back then to, to, to get a front row, even at the blonde show for me. Me and my publicist, eh? We couldn't even get in some shows. We were trying to sneak in, like, oh, if, if they see us, if they see us, they see my if they see my clothes, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna wanna know. It's easier now for females, and I'm not even mad at it. But in 2017, 2016, 15, it wasn't like that. So then, you know, Nikki started throwing, you know, some shots on Twitter. She said, imagine being a fashion icon before your debut album. Imagine performing with Yang Camel Face at the Yankee Stadium. No album out. Imagine Champagne Thickums, Eminem, Rihanna, Ye, Will I Am, Natasha Benefield on your first album. I have to laugh. Blessings and gratitude to my supporters. Then she also said she was a trendsetter when Onika Wins was trending all night. Okay. And so with that being said, um, that is what Cardi B is responding to. She is basically saying that Nikki sees her as competition and always has um, since she got in the game. Let me know if you guys agree or not. Now, I don't know how Nikki can see you as competition um, when you don't even write your music, okay? You only got one album. Nikki has four. So, you know, it's very interesting that she thinks that. But um, people also thought she was taking shade at Ice Spice by talking about being front row at the fashion event. But also, um, she tried to like stick up for Ice Spice, but I kind of feel like she don't really mess with Ice Spice like that. And I said that before when I talked about how a lot of Cardi B fans felt like Ice Spice was disloyal because Ice Spice never put out the Munch remix, okay, that Cardi B wanted to hop on, but she decided to get a top five hit with Nicki Minaj with the Princess Diana remix. And she really don't give Cardi B no type of attention like she used to. You know, she likes pictures here and there, but she don't be under her comments like she used to. When it comes to other female rapper success that are happening now and everything, some are gonna, some females are gonna come up faster than others. And a lot of people will think that it's that, oh, that's because their labels are putting money behind them, isn't that? The labels are putting money behind the girls that people are listening to. So if you feel like somebody is, is coming really fast and everything, that's because y'all yeah, listening to them. Now, this is the part I really don't agree with. I think it depends on the aesthetics, you know, how that person looks. I think it also depends 
on, you know, the controversy they have, because my whole thing is, then why was Scratch Off getting a push? She did 20,000 first week for her album, yet she got like 80 million in radio play for low energy. And then all her singles in 2023 and in 2022 flopped because low energy came out in 2021. So why is Normani shelved, but Scratch Off who don't sell still dropping music? So that doesn't make sense to me. Okay, Criminal B. Their label pushes who they feel like causes controversy, scratch off beefing with Nicki Minaj. And then on top of that, um, Ice Spice is getting a push because she's mainstream appeal, okay, versus the Dolce's and the Flo Millie's. So I don't really agree with that aspect, but I also feel like Cardi B is not going to directly say it, but she doesn't really mess with Ice Spice like that. But she's not going to directly say it um, because she don't want people to think that she's jealous. Cardi B fans have said that they felt like um, Ice Spice has been disloyal to um, Cardi B. And I actually talked about that before. Moving on to Doja Cat. A lot of people are anticipating Doja Cat's rap album. And they are saying that she is coming for rap album of the year in 2024. And the album ain't even out yet. That is very interesting. Now, people are saying that Cardi B is going to get nominated. Um, You know, people believe that Nicki would get nominated, but I don't really think the scammies mess with Nicki Minaj. And I don't think Nicki should send in her music to the 2024 scammies. They played in her face in 2022, 2023. What's the point? You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, how can y'all say that Doja Cat and Cardi B going to get nominated for Rap Album of the Year? They haven't even dropped yet. Like, you know, at least Nicki have been putting out music, but Doja Cat hasn't put out anything. And Cardi B, her last single, Hot Garbage, flopped. That's very interesting. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Who do you think is going to get a Grammy nomination in 2024? Now, moving on to Scratch Off. As we know, Tiana Taylor is Scratch Off's new creative director and choreographer for her recent performances, especially at Coachella. Um, And now... Fans are saying that she is the best female rap performer. Like, don't the cat don't exist. I'm like, oh my goodness. You know, she do one or two good performances and y'all trying to rewrite history. Then on top of that, now people are saying that she has the best rap verse of the year because she hopped on that Freaky T remix and everybody's raving about her verse. It's so funny Y'all only support Scratch Off on the internet because when we're talking about stats and supporting her music, y'all don't buy. Okay? No shade, but the Freaky T remix low-key flopped. Unfortunately, I feel like rap is, you know, going downhill when we're talking about talent. How does Scratch Off have the best verse of the year? That doesn't make any sense. Now, moving on to Chloe. As we know, her tour finally ended. Okay, she got a lot of good reviews on the tour. And allegedly, her um, label, um, Columbia and Parkwood, they want her to push Body Do, okay? Because that might be a summer anthem for the girls. Um, the thing is, though, as we know, Chloe don't get a push, okay? Um, she gonna need a music video. She gonna need radio. She gonna need promotion, Okay, but unfortunately, since you guys did not support the album, she's not going to get a big push. Okay, but I feel like if Scratch Off can get a push and she don't sell, why can't Walmart Yase? But Walmart Yase signed to Queen B. Okay, so Queen B could be, you know, secretly stopping that bag. Okay, because Queen B gets all the radio, Walmart Yancey gets none. You know, I don't feel like that's fair, you know, especially when we got Scratch Off getting a push at, you know, the label RCA, the colorist, while Normani is being shelved. I don't think that's fair. But, you know, um, like I said before, the labels be picking and choosing and Normani doesn't have as much controversy as Scratch Off. Okay, neither does Walmart Yance. And that's why she and Quavo got to become a power couple and help each other's careers. So allegedly, today is the day 
where Tori and Megan will find out if Tori will get a new trial, okay, with the new evidence his lawyers have came up with. Um, They said that his DNA is now on the gun and how the eyewitness on the defense side had, um, you know, two different stories, okay? Um, With that being said, let me know in the comments, do you feel like he's going to get a new trial? Or is Tori the short leprechaun with no hairline going to jail? Okay, let me know in the comments. Can Tory Lanez finally beat Devil Nation? I don't know. I don't know if he can beat Devil Nation because that's what he's going up against. Uh-oh, the beehive is being put on blast. So a lot of Queen Bee fans um, who bought tickets to see Queen Bee internationally are now reselling their tickets because they don't want to pay for hotels. And flights, okay? Because everything is going to be expensive. Which is also the reason why Queen Bee has not sold out her tour yet. Allegedly, her tour is only 90% or 80% sold out. Um, And the reason is because people are buying tickets, then they're reselling them. Because everything costs. Flights, food, um, hotels, and it's getting too expensive. But here's the thing. If you get a two-hour or three-hour show, it might be worth it, okay? I think that people should still go if you bought international tickets because you're going to get your money worth. And going to a Queen Bee concert ain't going to be cheap, okay? Now, I know, you know, Chloe was selling tickets for $40, but Queen Bee been in the game for over 20 years, So, of course, going to a Queen Bee concert is going to cost you money, especially when she's one of the best performers alive. Last and not least, Dua Lipa has a Versace collection coming out, and she's supposed to reveal it at the fashion show on May 23rd during the Cannons Film Festival. Okay, so congratulations to Dua Lipa. But girl, when is you releasing another single? You haven't had a hit since, what, 2020, 2021? You got to reveal um, a new single, okay, because you're still a pop star. Anyway, I got some hot, hot tea on Patreon. Link will be in the description. Have an amazing day.